I can't, I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> friends welcome back to my channel today we have a fun video where i am doing my nighttime routine while i'm pregnant i'm doing this video as a voiceover because there's shower stuff involved and falling asleep falling asleep stuff involved she can never speak we all know this it's why you love me i wanted to come in and make this intro and then there's like a fun discussion with me and adam all about the pregnancy pillow that i've been using and loving i am telling you guys if i had that pillow or if i was aware of these things not pregnant while Adam wasn't here and I was sleeping by myself, <gasps> I would have gotten one and felt like I was cuddling and hugged up to somebody for all of the years he was inside. So what I'll do is <laughs> I'll add that part to the video because it's hysterical because husbands hate these things. They think they're the world's biggest block. Sorry, I have to edit that out, but I'm sure you can figure it out. We call it CB in the video so we don't get demonetized. I'll put all the information for the pillow in the description box below, a little video that the company that sent me the pillow sent to me. If you're interested, you don't have to, but if you're interested in, <laughs> in getting one, either if you're pregnant, if your spouse is in prison, or if you don't want your husband near you because you don't want to get pregnant, <laughs> I'm just joking. But if you're interested, it's in there. Without wasting any more time, here is my pregnancy nighttime routines, a little ratchet filmed on the phone, on the tripod. That's why you're here. It, it, it's part of the charm. All right, I love you guys. So usually after I finish prepping dinner, which you'll see in a second, I sit down and get some work done or I'll watch some YouTube while I wait for Adam to come home. Hey. <laughs> I'm filming a nighttime routine video. Okay. You're supposed to say, Daddy's home. Usually he'll walk in the door and say, Daddy's home, and then come over and rub my belly. And I was so disappointed he didn't that night. I had to sneak in a quick bump update for you guys. I looked huge that night. My bump still grows and shrinks. I'll usually finish getting dinner ready, whatever needs to get done, while he's in the other room changing so I could get dinner on the table. This night I had tofu for me because I still don't eat meat or dairy and i made adam his favorite come on i'll show you right in the oven we have sweet potatoes cooking for his lunch he takes them every day during the week and then lamb which is his favorite and some vegetables cooked in a nice vegetable broth topped with parmesan and feta cheeses for both of us on the side we had a salad i'm not going to make you guys sit and eat with us we already did that during the valentine's day video and i don't want to bore you I have a few different supplements that I take after dinner. So I take magnesium to help with sleep and the digestion issues that mamas get. This is a prebiotic prenatal fiber that sometimes I need. And then to help relieve the heartburn, I'll take papaya enzymes. At some point in the evening, I will get in the shower. I heard not too long ago that if you use a sugar scrub on your belly, it can avoid helping you get stretch marks. So that's the natural one that I found at Harmon and I use. Rub it all over the belly, wash it off. And then I take a razor because somebody told me if you shave that dead skin off of your belly, that can help as well. Some women get hair, thank God I haven't yet, but then I just finish my shower with some body wash and we're done. <laughs> Little bump. Next up, I'll take some cotton rounds that I got from Walmart and some witch hazel just to tone my face to get off the grime and leftover makeup from the day if I was wearing any. They work really, really well. They're exfoliating and then I'll flip it to the other side and you could see all the gunk. I spray some rose water on there and then use Avalon Organics Moisturizer and I really work it into my skin. After that, I put on my tummy butter for stretch marks. It feels so good. I rub it in all the way up at the top and all the way down at the bottom. In areas where I've seen people get stretch marks, I also do my hip where, I don't know if you could see that, but I already have some stretch marks there. So I try to work it in really, really well there considering that skin's already damaged and sensitive. I get the lower back, I get the tummy again. I try to get everywhere, including the back of my hands because you know, they age kind of quickly. Then I take this oil and I put it all over the same spots because I really just want to work it in and moisturize that skin. Does it help? Mm, I don't know. According to Jenny McCarthy, not so much. Your genetics, but can't hurt to try. So then I take this stretch mark lotion in the areas that are a little less prone. I'll get it all over my hips, my thighs, 
my glutes that I just cut out of the video because that would have been strange. And then I take the other lotion that's not for stretch marks, it's just a really thick lotion. And I'll rub that on my arms and my legs. I'll work it in really well. That stuff is so thick and buttery and it smells so good like chocolate. I love it so very much. I take my natural deodorant and put that on there. Then it's time to brush the teeth. I love the clay toothpaste by Uncle Harry's. I get it from Amazon. It's a little expensive, but Adam and I both love it so much. Brush a brush a brush a. Two minutes is a long time when you're filming a video. And then I follow with the Uncle Harry's mouthwash and we are done. There's a little bumpage. I just got this pregnancy pillow sent to me by a company. I'll put all the information in the box below, but it is a game changer. Look at all the different positions. It hugs your body. It feels so good. It's kind of comical because husbands hate it and you'll see why in a second, but that's kind of part of its charm. Sorry, not sorry. You know what? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay. I honestly wish I had this thing when you were in prison because I would have slept with it. It feels like something's there. It's rolling. It's good. Is this your favorite thing in the entire world? This is not my favorite thing. <laughs> How are you going to let this come between us? <laughs> Husbands hate these things. They are the best invention ever made. Besides for CB. What do you call them? CB? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, What's his CB. name? What's his name? You named him. I did name him because he's my boyfriend. Christian Gray. Christian Gray. Because he's gray. He's my boyfriend, and every other husband on this planet hates Christian Grey. That's right. He is 50 shades of the most comfortable thing I've ever felt in my whole life, though. The other funny thing is, because of my heartburn, I have to sit myself up. We don't have the bed turned down for the night yet. It's like she's in a different room. Yeah. I'm we, in one room. Like, she's in the other. Yeah, he'll, when he goes to kiss me tonight, he'll be like, we're coming upstairs to kiss you tonight. It's like we're on different floors of the house. I mean, look at how far away you are. This is the best thing ever though because it's got the knee support. That's where I always like it. I honestly wish I knew about these things before you were home because it's like having something yeah. to cuddle with. And it's like you're supported on all sides. I'm just mad that it's not me. Well, it's you now. We figured out a way where we could both enjoy it. Ready? Yeah. You, there's no way in hell a pregnant woman. We don't have abs anymore. So there's no way to climb over this thing anymore. So we just go under. And then we all have the best of everything. This looks really, really dirty. Now I have my boyfriend, my husband, my little underwear baby. Yeah, show the other one. Where you... Okay, what is it? Flip this over. The unpregnant man is gonna teach us how to do this. Wait, I can't, I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have abs to move. Okay, okay. There you go, no, you're good. Oh. Remember? Now I get inside? Yeah, now you get inside. It's a lot of work. Okay. And we got the trap door. Oh, that's right. Okay, I forgot. <laughs> that's what I said this morning. Okay, the trap door is this. You ready? The trap door. Like... You hit the, it's the eject <laughs> button for husbands. Ready? Yes. Go. <laughs> <laughs> it's an old creaky door when he wants to come up to the second floor mm. and get in. Isn't it comfortable though? Come on. It is comfortable. You can't even lie. It's super comfortable. I fell asleep the, yesterday. You did? Was it yesterday or the day before? Yeah, it was, he, can you lay in it and show them it's like a pool float? But honestly, you guys, this is the best invention ever for a pregnant woman because it does support you. I'm not that big yet. Oh, no, I look huge tonight. I had a huge salad for lunch. I think that's why. Because the pictures I sent you earlier, I looked like I had like a little bit of abs. You did? Tonight, he's a basketball. But anyway, they say that it starts supporting your belly too once your belly's like heavy and a lot of people say when you roll to your side, your whole belly's like Bleh, and it pulls. Sure. It's painful, so it'll you could like plop your belly on it, you have the knee support if you need. The only a little bit of a difficult thing is your husband is in a different room. In a different room. When I was telling one of my friends who is newly pregnant, I'm so excited, she was like, Good, you stay out of the room. You're the one that caused this whole situation. We need the CB. What's another way to say CB so I don't have to say CB if people know what it means? The chastity belt? Say that. Keep your little swimmies away from me. Uh, not me, that's what my friend said. But <laughs> not you. It doesn't I mean, matter because I mean, disclaimer. I mean it's a little too late, late for now. That. This is how I have to go nowadays. I do my arm muscles. Good thing I have them. That's why you need to keep working out. I do. Should I show everyone my setup? 
this is my attempt at a sit up and I stopped doing it, but I'll just show you guys for the video. Ready? 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 But not too fast or it's bad. Thank you. Mm -hmm. okay. Usually I read a little bit and then it's lights out. Good night, sweet friends. So that's it. My night usually ends with some reading or a little bit of TV and snuggles with my honey, then lights out. It has been as early as 6.30 or 7 o'clock p.m. some evenings just because a little man has zapped all of my energy. But it's okay because my sister was telling me, Sleep now while you can, because you're not sleeping for the rest of your life. Amen, sister, I hear ya. I am a sleeper. I hope and pray that this little man that was just kicking me in my belly, like he knows, you know, buddy, that he takes after mommy when it comes to sleep, at least for the first year of his life. And then Adam's like, yeah, then he can get your energy. Yes, you can get my energy, but the reason I have it is because I sleep. You hear me? You hear me, little man? I'm not sleeping for a year. Give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out so much in YouTube. Let me know if you wanna see anything else similar or other videos you want in the comments below. I love you guys. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I forgot to say that and I will see you in the next one. Mwah.